Good morning, everyone. We're at the beginning of another great day of music education here at Public School 21 in Patterson, New Jersey. I'm so happy to announce that we finally received all of the instruments from the Save Music Foundation grant. And I want to give you a little tour of the room today, show you how everything is laid out and how everything looks. So obviously we have the banner here on the outside of the room in the hallway. This is what the students see when they come down to begin class. Now we're going to go inside. All right, so we got all our pandemic um, items here. Right when the students walk in, they're always reminded, uh, keep safe, air purifier, American flag, there's my class rules, travel cart, um, little music history poster for the students that they enjoy, map of America by the American flag, map of the world. So, see the music instruments first. We have this piano that came. This piano is actually going to be going up on the stage. I want to use this for performances, which is why it is not uh, set up as of right now. I have the parts over here. I'm still currently using my old piano right now, just because it was already set up. It was a little bit easier to transition with, um, but I want to have that up on the stage at some point for performances. So, uh, chalkboard, marker is obviously right there. Um, chalk for the chalkboard. I got some pointers because when I use this whiteboard, I don't want to be standing in front of the students where they can't see because they're sitting over there. So I want to be able to uh, stay out of their way with the pointers because I now have this projector that I got from a teacher upstairs, gave me her old one. So now I am able to project onto this whiteboard, which is when I use those pointers. Basketball hoop, uh, the students love. Obviously at the end of class, if they're good, they get to take some shots at the basketball hoop with a little basketball. And if they make that in, they receive some prizes that I'll show you guys a little bit later. Got my desk, got a little calendar there, um, my name plate, that was a nice gift someone gave me. Um, keep my backpack there, obviously. I got my book with all my attendance information and grades on it. Tape, uh, tape, stapler, my computer. Another gift that I got from somebody, got my name on it there. Supplies are all in the drawers, little pencil thing there. My COVID shield that we no longer have to use, thankfully, is there. Got my phone, all my reference sheets when I need those. Let's take a look in the back. Let's get this light turned on. So we got all 30 of the ukuleles with their gig bags, all hung up on this old little coat rack that was here. Worked out really well to be able to uh, hang those up. We got some trumpets, flutes, saxophones, a bunch more wind instruments are in another closet down the hall from this room that I'm gonna to get to at some point in another time. Got some percussion, some older um, bass drums, tom drums. Another bass drum, sticks the students use when they play um, the bucket drums, more of my sticks. Here are the bass orfs, keep those back here off the shelves. Everything's there. File cabinet, and here is where I believe all the books are, actually I know where all the books are. Pencil sharpener, a couple extra things there. This drawer down here is all of the books for the recorders and the ukuleles. Got an older MP3 CD player here, speakers for that, an amp, some music stands. Um, I'm waiting on a new portable PA from my amazing supervisor, Ms. Michelle Van Hoven, which will be coming soon, which is gonna replace some of that older stuff. And also, since I have the projector now, I can have video and audio for the students instead of having just audio coming out of there. And I have access to the entire internet that I can project for the students. Today, we're using these fun little kits with whiteboards, magnets, markers, erasers. We can't make that much noise today in music because there's testing going on. So we're gonna be using these, learning how to do some written notation today. Usually those go in this drawer right here. Let's look at some of these shelves and some of these drawers. So we got some design and play tambourines, some shakers, some bells, triangles, gyros, some odds and ends over here, some candles. Some older stuff here. And here we got some extra pitchforks, which I love. Some rhythm sticks, some paperwork, and TPA, subplans, CD player, older stuff. Up here we have the festival drums, six of the nine. Other figure on the other side of the room, I'll show you guys those a little bit later. Some textbooks. Some of the other same music books are over here for my reference. Let's take a look at some of these drawers. We got all my manuals, my odds and ends that I need when necessary. This is the fun drawer. Prizes and games for the students that they really enjoy. In this top drawer, I also keep my paperwork. These are the dollars that the students can win when they make a basketball shot. If they get a certain number of those, they have to go down to the swag room, which is down the hall. It's a bunch of fun games and things in there that they love. And here, we got these fun bead drums. You can hit them, you can shake them. The kids love them. The little kids absolutely love those things. 
some save the music. This is actually not save the music stuff in here. It used to be, but I moved it. Um, but there's the stickers. I got them all the drawers. In here, some more games. Stadium hardware for the sound shape drum set. In here, I think it's just, yeah, it's got some bags and stuff. When I go to other classes, I have to bring boxes to carry everything in. So I got some extra boxes in here to carry things to other classes in. Maracas are in that box right there. Let's see this shelf. We got a bunch of maracas, different kinds of maracas. There's the hand drums, some tape music, some rain sticks, gongs. The kids love the Japanese gongs, love the maracas too. They love the den dens, the Japanese den dens, sorry, the Chinese gongs. The kids love those. This drawer is just paper. Um, the djembe, this djembe is an older djembe. We use this every day. We put a little call response when kids get to class. We, um, I play the djembe, they play the ribbon back to me on their desks. This painting a student made for my predecessor, Mr. Brown. Um, I kept it there because obviously she loved him and he loved it. Kept it right there for him. Save the music. This stuff just came in yesterday. The Glockenspiels are all right there, ready to go in that drawer. So those are awesome. Get this desk out of the way real quick. In here are the sound shapes. The kids absolutely love these. I've had these for a while. Different boxes full of them there so I can carry them to the kindergarten classes. Kids every age absolutely love those things. They're super easy to use. They're handheld. They are great. So here, save the music stickers on the drawers. That means that inside is going to be things from Save the Music. So all four of these drawers right here, these are all 100 of recorders, about 25 of them in each drawer. This year, unfortunately, we cannot use them because of the mass requirements, but we're looking forward to doing that next year. However, this year we use a lot of these, the boom whackers. I have video recorded, but unfortunately I can't send it out to the media release restrictions from the students. But just so you know, the students absolutely love the boom whackers. This drawer here, we have the extra B and F off the xylophones in the back that I'll show you. Uh, my predecessor took those off for us. I guess they were some improvisation last year. I left them all because it's easier for the kids to play without those two on for improvisation purposes. Some of my a bit broken things that I still use that I kept. Here's some bigger stuff in here. You got a big snare. Kids love to, older kids love to use that for drum ensemble. Some stadium hardware in there. Up on this shelf, we got some handbells. I bought these actually. The kids have loved them. These are from the drum kit from Save the Music, percussion kit, the cymbals, bigger cymbals. The bongos are from them. These two bongos are from that Save the Music kit. The tambourines from them. Older tambourines that I had before, older bongos all together. Here's the Epiphone guitar that came from Save the Music. It's actually the first thing that came. I have a sticker for it right there. Also on these shelves where the Save the Music instruments are on the shelves, I have Save the Music stickers so the students know and everyone that comes into the room knows that those are from Save the Music. These drawers have some extra of those tambourines. The kids, by the way, love to draw on these. They really enjoy drawing on them. So the little kids love doing that. Extra rhythm sticks. More rhythm sticks. And some practice pads, some old symbols for the older kids down there. Big symbols for the drum set, some crash symbols. Sand blocks, older sand blocks, newer sand blocks, a bunch of claves, other drums, wood blocks. Kids love these TikTok blocks. I love these. I'm very organized, as you can tell. Um, some smaller symbols, finger symbols, which the kids also absolutely love. Let's see. We have another, another grade that came in a few years ago that sent 15 guitars that look like this. I'll show you guys the rest of them later, but I keep one up here as my predecessor, my predecessor did as well. So in that bag is some sleigh bells for Christmas time, cowbells, kids love those. This game was super fun. So these two paddle drums, I use it like tennis and I have them hit the ball back and forth on the floor. Since one is higher and one is lower, the kids will learn that the, I'm sorry, since one is bigger and one is smaller, the kids will quickly learn that the bigger one makes a lower sound and the smaller one makes a higher sound. They can learn that while we play a fun little game. We have the clappers, cast the nets. Let's see what we got in here. We got some more stadium hardware, some more bass drums, and uh, more tom drums in here, some big drums for the drum sets, newer stuff, older stuff. Try to keep it all together. The rest of the festival drums are up there. More stadium hardware, we got some more. Big tom drums in here. Let's see, we got some extra drum heads. Some nice cymbals in there for more drum sets. Drum heads, drum, drum set seats, stools rather. Drum bass drum heads back there. Another drum, that got to be fixed. I need to get a drum key for that so I can put a new head on it. Back here, we have another piano that I'm not using quite yet. This one was also from my amazing supervisor, Ms. Van Hoven. This 
Casio piano is back here, but the stand is all here with it. It will not get lost. It's got to get set up a little bit later. Uh, this I actually got um, along with the handbells. I bought this. This was actually a gift from my family um, that I brought into school. I was a little old for it when I got it, but I figured the kids would love it. There are the xylophones with the B's and F's taken off. You can see they're all color coordinated. They go along with the handbells and the boom whackers. The kids love those. Pianos, the students absolutely adore. These Casio SC76 pianos were also part of the grant a few years ago that came with the guitars. The kids absolutely love these. There's an article online about the, when the students received these the first time. They love them. They weren't able to use them last year because of COVID, so let, letting them see them for the first time this year, they were ha absolutely excited. They had a blast. They were great using those. Bucket drums, these are used a lot for the drum ensemble. Um, the kids love to use these a lot. Um, they're a lot of fun. Another sharpener is there. The rest of the guitars are um, there from that grant from a few years ago. So up here and all around this wall back here, we have a huge Black History Month display that my predecessor made for Black History Month in 2020. And of course that's in February and right after is when the quarantine in March of 2020 started. So I kept it up, the students love it, we refer to it often, we just had Black History Month a couple months ago. And a lot of great, great, great musicians on here from a lot of genres and just a lot of black excellence up here. So I figured why bother redecorating, it looks great, I just kept it up there. This bulletin board here I did make. This is all my vocab terms that we use with some pretty visuals to go along with it. A little motivational poster there. Some more great black history with Jay-Z. Guitar poster that came with a guitar that I keep up so the students can learn to use that. We got bathroom protocols and things like that here. And on this shelf, last but not least, we have the bigger, or the, the um, alto and whatever the other, the altos, all the alto or, or xylophones. Uh, the xylophones, metallophones are all on here. Um, one thing that's kind of an issue is why I have this, this tablecloth here is sometimes the kids in this front row will slide their desk unintentionally over against the the shelves and they'll bang into the bars. You can see stick out a little bit. They're banging into the bars once in a while and they knock them off. So I had the tablecloth over to cover it. That didn't really work. So I'm trying to get them to keep their seats where I have them, but they just naturally tend to move them over. This row on the very end also, the kids always tend to move the desks um, up against the shelves. But anyway, that's not relevant to you guys. Um, that is basically it. That's a tour of my room with all the Save the Music grants gear finally in. I hope you enjoyed. And once again, Save the Music folks, I cannot thank you enough for what your grant has done to help uh, this school and its music program. Thank you all again. Have a great day.